Okay. So I have a question on this one. How oh, yeah, did you get the 2080? Yeah, I also did something wrong. Okay, let's check I'm it out. Apply it into the bag. Oh, okay. So the B is the base area. That is really important that you need to know. And once you have the base area, and then you can find the other one. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so is that we're looking at the volume or the surface area? Surface area. Okay, this is surface area. Good job. How about the volume? Oh, okay, volume. Okay, how do you get the 60? Because the base is 10. Because the base area is 5.2, so it's 10, and then the height is 6, so you find the same thing. Excellent. So the B is means base area, and then we have, this is the height. So in this case, the base is a rectangle shape. So base is like 5 times 2, that is 10, and then times 6, that is gives you 60. But there's one thing, it's a small mistake here. What do you think is this? Into square? Into square when it is an area. Area gets the square units. Area is a square unit. But coming to the volume is a cubic unit. That means power 3. Okay? Okay. Yeah, remember that anytime you're finding an area, surface area, lateral surface area, anything you end up with the area, you're going to just put a square units, just like this. But anything as a volume, you have to put a 3. It's a cubic unit. Okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, good. It's really important. I just don't want to miss it, this part. Because uh, if, if you're finding the length, the width, their height, because it's only like one dimension, so it's going to be like inches or in the, just a regular unit. Good? You guys both understand it? Yeah. Okay, good.